Hello everybody, uh, just uh, yeah, just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, truck's been parked here for like two weeks. Just come back from uh, Colombia. Haven't, haven't bothered really running during uh, October or, or November because uh, the rates are all, you know, it's always quiet at that time of year and the rates are always shit. But I thought I'd just go over uh, some of the stuff I've done on my truck. Uh, put, put two brand new tyres on this side. Uh, on this on this drive, uh, I've painted all the, uh, the frame rails and I did a load of welding work uh, over here. You can see, put like new pieces of uh, chopped out all the old rust basically, and um, put new uh, L-shaped brackets in. You can't really see because all the pipes are all pretty much on there now. But welded in uh, some new plate. Uh, welding a lot of shit down in that corner as well, pieces of plate, uh, ground a lot of uh, scabs off behind here, took all this out, jet washed everything behind here, jet washed all behind here, cleaned all behind there because there were tons of shit in there, redid all my, uh, and same here as well, put in new pieces of steel down here, new plate new plates, ground out all the old um, channels basically, all the old channels for the pipes were all rotten away so I literally just ground them all out and then um, up, to, up to the point where they the were in still alright condition I just basically ground everything out, got rid of the old rusty pieces and redid all the, all the pipes so at least it doesn't look like rusty and shit down there anymore. And then uh, also I damaged the pipe, so I had to get those pipes all recrimped. As you can see there are some new crimped pipes on there and I had to disconnect all these pipes. Uh, redid all the all the uh, zip ties all over the whole truck basically. A lot of the zip ties were falling apart, a lot of them were, were old, so redid a lot of the zip ties again. Um, well, so yeah, I did all my brakes as well on the on the back put all new shoes on, ground all the S-cams down, re, uh, re, um, readjusted everything, put all the wheels back on, rotated all the wheels around. Um, also fixed a couple of leaks on a couple of rams, took the rams off and re resealed them all. And then uh, obviously I gave it a wash. I don't know if this tire is that tire still up. That tire still hard. Yeah, that tire still okay. So um, yeah, so it's all like ready for the winter. Still got a lot of some bits and bats to do. Oh, right, I put a new uh, trip switch for the auxiliary battery, uh, like a, a relay. Not a relay, sorry. Well, it's like a two-way relay, charging relay. I installed a new one of those. I also installed a, a trip switch fuse to, to make sure that if there's any shorts it doesn't set the truck on fire. Uh, so I'm not going to bother showing that but that's something else I did. Oh yeah my exhaust as well, sorry, totally forgot about that. So I installed a, a new exhaust system, well it's actually made from different pieces of exhaust but I've got these clamps from different trucks, I've got two of these clamps on there now, there was one clamp before and then the exhaust was in like an L shape, it used to bend right around here. But I just thought there's no point of that, I'm just put the tailpipe beyond, on the end and have the tailpipe pointing that way. The exhaust is actually being rerouted because before it used to it used to melt some pipes, it used to melt those air conditioning pipes. So I've actually rerouted it to a slightly different angle further away. And it's all it's all solid now. It used to shake around. It's all solid now, it doesn't move. Uh, that's a brand new bend. It's got a brand new bend on there, new clamps. Uh, so the exhaust is a lot better now. Also sounds a lot nicer when you start it up. It's got a straight through silencer on there as well. So first start up we'll have to make sure the power's on. I don't know if Hopefully the battery is still, still good. I think I turned the battery off. I think I turned the main batteries off, but there's still an auxiliary battery, which still powers. 
power stuff. So let's see how much power we've got left. Uh, I, don't know, I think it actually goes off after a while. So I think the isolator, the isolator turns that battery off. Let's have a look. Hold on. Okay, so it's showing absolutely fuck all power. The, the, the main batteries have been isolated basically, but I think the truck must like just turn everything off because it does all say on here that after a while it does turn everything off. It's showing no power there whatsoever. But this battery is definitely still alive because if I the main batteries are turned off at the isolate switch, so there's no power coming from the main batteries on the on the side of the truck. So this battery here is the only battery which is powering this inverter. And I can turn the inverter on and it says it's got 12.1 volts. So this is coming directly, this inverter is coming directly off this auxiliary battery here. So that battery's still got power in it. But it's weird that it's not showing on my gauges. But it doesn't matter. Let's just uh, put the key in and see what happens. Maybe it might show us some power. There's nothing. No. That's weird, that. Right, okay. Well, I won't worry about it, because at least that battery is not totally dead. I thought that battery was like, totally dead, which is annoying. It's still got power. It's just, the truck's just gone into like, safety mode where it cuts off the power when it gets i think when it, uh, it when it's sat for a long time it just cuts all the power off to them to the rest of the truck to stop it from draining the batteries even though the battery is still connected and the main batteries are disconnected so let's turn those main batteries on i do have my little generator just in case the batteries do die but um i don't think i'll be needing it hopefully not so this is the uh the main batteries, I always turn that off. If I leave it for longer in a week, I always turn this off. So we switch that on. That should bring all the power on from the main batteries. And in theory, there is a But anyway, it's on 12 volts. What's that doing there? Nothing yet. Right, well, can't remember which of is on or off. My little trip switch thing. Oh, can't really see, it's a bit dark in there. Um, anyway, we've got power on there. So we should start up, technically. Should start up. Hey, there we go. Fire straight up. Let's have a look at the smoke. See what she's saying. Clear as a bell. No smoke at all. Very good. So I'm just going to let her air up and I'm going to move it. I'm going to take it down to my other little parking spot. I'm going to probably have to give it a little bit of time because some of these tyres, that, that tyre has gone down a little bit. Not a lot, but a bit. This one's still solid. Sometimes the uh, air system can uh, it can bleed back through the system again. That one's all right. This one looks a little. It's still all right, but needs a little bit of air in it. Oh, well, that's gone down. That actually. That'll blow back up. So. I don't know, I think one of my tyres did have a nail in it. Can't remember which one, I might have to get that repaired. But I'm surprised that's gone down because I changed the valve on that. Because there was a valve leaking on that as well. Come on, you stupid thing. Better. 
Anyway. Alright, let's go in. This is a this is another British car hauler. I thought I, I thought I was the only one, but this is another British car hauler. <laughs> in Vegas as well. How's it going? You alright? Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? No, no, I've just got back off holiday. It's the first time I've started my truck up in like two weeks, so I would have just doing a little video and stuff, you know, I'll put it on YouTube. Uh, just done a load of work on this actually. Yeah, a friend of yours, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've just done a ton of work on it. I've just done a load, load of welding work. Uh, cut out, you know, the pipes, what the, uh, the, you know, the hydraulic pipes go through those tubes and they always hold a load of like shite, yeah. hold, hold a load, load of dirt, don't they? So I chopped all those out, put new steel in, uh, I've had some of my pipes repaired. Uh, uh, done all my brakes on the on the rear on the rears as well. Ground all my S cams down. We adjusted everything. Do it yourself? Yeah, I did it myself. Yeah, I was a mechanic. Yeah. And yeah it, I saw you had a car listed in uh, Lake Tahoe. Right here. Yeah, no, I do. I do a couple of cars actually. Some some people phone me up and just go, oh, I need a car moving or something. It's like you know, some I'm a fucking transportation business, so I should be allowed to do it. You know what I mean? Fuck those brokers. Hey, all right, yeah, well, yeah, well, it, a lot of it is. I always do cash on collection. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, no, I'll take 20%, yeah. and then uh, and then the rest of it just goes to, yeah. you know, yeah. the the the, uh, the the carrier, yeah. Yeah, I recognise the company name. Pardon? I recognise the company name. I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I know I've been parked here for two weeks now. Well, I'll, I'll leave it here for two weeks because I've just come back from Columbia literally today. Yeah. So I thought I'm going to move it back down to its spot where I park it for about another two weeks, and then I've got another spot. Where I can keep it for about three weeks and I don't get no bother. And I've, that's where I can do what work on it as well, you know what I mean? So I don't have to, you know, fucking, when it, you, you always need somewhere to work, you know, work on it as well. Yeah. And sometimes I see this on uh, Rainbow. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I park it down by Rainbow, it's near my house. I mean, yeah. just up uh, up Westcliff, there's another spot like Decatur, Westcliff, and there's like a little, there's this little, little parking lot which, like, you know, nobody uses it. Mm. I park it there for weeks, so I don't have any problems. And it's right close to my house as well, so I can just pick up and check up on it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, our, our business is terrible at the moment, isn't it? It's really fucking quiet and shitty. And I, I always have time up in Octo October, November. I don't really bother working. I'll do a little bit. I might just do a bit just to make two grand just to cover insurance, and that's it. But I don't even bother working because fuel always goes up, the rates are always shit, and it's always quiet. You know what I mean? Where are you going to go across country? Uh, yeah, I went out for like two and a half months. I was all over Texas, uh, Alabama, I was doing uh, Kia, uh, uh, Hyundai, uh, I was doing some stuff for Lexus as well, Toyota, Toyota Direct, and, and then uh, Lord. Did they, did they, pay? they were paying alright, we're through like United Roots. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but they were brand new Lexuses, they were fucking heavy as well, like really yeah. heavy. I had like six or seven of them and I was maxed out. And then uh, I was doing a lot of stuff for uh, expedited uh, drive time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if I, if I can barter with that expedited guy. So he's always sure. pay, yeah, yeah. He's always paying like around in the low 60s sometimes. You know what I mean? So I would always short trips like 250 miles, but it will get me a load of them. So it just keeps you going around. And in Texas, it's cheap. You know what yeah. I mean? But compared to what people are doing out here now, like 35, 40, you know, 40 cents, 35. It's not fucking worth it. Bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm just glad I don't have a truck payment. You know, yeah. I can afford to like, even though it's short and expensive, I can afford to just park up and think, right, hey, fuck it, I'll wait. You know what I mean? Some people can't do that because they've got 5,000, 6,000 truck payment, but then insurance and everything else. Yeah, two more years. Really? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, must be tough. Nice to see you. Alright, mate, take it easy. See you later. That was a uh, fellow British car hauler, the only one I've met in the whole of, uh, all of America. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, put this on the back. Yeah, we'll just 
tighten this up. One more click, come on. That's it. I'm only going down the road. It's 41 back. Oops. It's hard to do this one handed. Hold on. Alright, so we'll just strap those two back wheels up and bring it forwards a little bit because it's ass end sticking out. Okay, so that's on the back. Tires are nice and hard now. These have got automatic inflators in, so save a lot of time if you've got a really slow punch or it goes down over weeks it'll just top it back up do need to get that sorted though these are fine there's the new ones feel all right can't hear any leaking anyway so oh, there's that fucking nail there look got a nail you see it there a screw screwy fucking tire right there Get that fixed. Anyway, everything else seems all right. All these are all fine. They're brand new. So I was saying that tyre there is fucking nailing it. back down home, switch on some air conditioning. Actually there should be a little light 